Hey, it's Monday. I'm actually excited for Monday today. Last couple weeks, haven't been putting out vlog content. I've been going through a really weird funk. I'm not sure. Well, I think I do know why. Uh, I'm going to drop off some stuff right now. And then I'll tell you more about that. And if you're in business, do you ever go through seasons of like, I don't know, it's dissatisfaction or just feeling like unmotivated sometimes? I don't know. Just in a general funk, I think, is how I would describe it. So I'll tell you what I did to get out of it a little bit, and um, more on that. I'm going to go drop this off really quick. So hold on. Hey, Mr. Bud. How's your day going? Hi. Hey. Nice hey, sweet guy. How's your day going? You doing good? That's exciting. Hello, my loves. How are you today? Good. How's your school going? Good. Dad. That's good. You're eating lunchtime right now? Mm -hmm. How about you? Good. Good? Don't forget. You got Easter stuff? Easter is Sunday coming up soon? Bye! I can't wait. Awesome. And today okay. is Monday. I'm, yep, I'm cooking some steaks outside. And All right, so just working away today. Things are going, in general, really good right now. I think I'm super excited about uh, AdWords stuff that I'm doing, AdWords clients that I have coming on. That's very exciting. I have new... A potential client coming on here so that's really really exciting too um but the past couple weeks i don't know what has been going on just in general it's been super strange my brain is like my biggest enemy and i feel like i'm stuck in a weird funk and so um i don't know what the heck it is but here's i think part of the problem typically if your expectations of output are not meeting the like result that you're looking for either as fast as you think they should be or, you know, who knows what. Um, I think that that's been primarily the problem, right? So, uh, like, I'm not sure if it's burnout or what. I don't think it was burnout. I just was in a weird funk of, like, getting in my own head too much. And it was, I don't know, just kind of weird. I'm going to set, set the camera down. One second here. Okay. There we go. So, I think that... In general, like with, with work and stuff, you have to feel like you're making progress. You have to feel like you're getting improvement on your skills and things like that. So I, I think that that, like for whatever reason, and I, I think that it might have been just having unrealistic, unrealistic expectations of like how fast things should be going or how certain client work should be going or adding on new clients or, you know, that could have been a million things that were just kind of combining together. So a few things that I started doing that I think are super helpful to help get me out of a funk. Number one, my wife has been super helpful and super supportive. So having people around you that are going to help to support you and be your cheerleader and keep you going. It's really, really important to have people like that. So that's been super, super helpful. The other thing that I think is really, really helpful to have is to, do, to work out and have some kind of a physical outlet, especially if you're doing work where you're sitting around all day, like I do, and I'm constantly in my office. Having some kind of movement and motion has been really helpful. So we got a jogging stroller, and I've been taking my son Bennett out for runs and taking the girls out for runs. Just getting out and moving has been so helpful. So I think that, that is really, really helpful. And then, you know, just doing the work, even if you don't feel like it is important and sometimes it just kind of sucks i don't know how else to say it but uh sometimes it just it's not fun you just got to keep going through it i think that the more that you can push through and get things done even when you don't necessarily feel like it the better i mean that's why people don't either create content as much as they should they just don't feel like it or they don't do the business growth activities that they have to do or the, the uncomfortable things that they don't necessarily want to do, that's how you become successful. You push through that resistance. And you're going to have, you know, motivational times where you're feeling super motivated to do stuff. And you have times when you don't feel motivated to do stuff. And so just saying, like, I'm doing it no matter what, committing to it and getting it done, especially when things are like, I don't know if, if you're like me, but... You know, like when, when I'm thinking about just like I was in a, a weird like pity party funk where I was like, man, things are not going as good as I want them to be. And it's like, it takes time. I don't know why I was thinking I need to have immediate results or, you know, just 
enjoy the, the work process as much as possible. And don't worry so much about the results and don't worry about checking the analytics. And also, you know, like it's so cool. I'm so excited. I have over a thousand subscribers now. I have a thousand and ten. And my daughters are like, what happens when you get a thousand subscribers? And it's like, you keep making videos. Nothing happens. It's just like a milestone and a measurement, right? So, well, there, I think that, that there is a, like some kind of tension between that where you have to make sure that you are stopping and smelling the roses and appreciating the accomplishments that you you hit the milestones that you hit make sure that you're measuring and improving and constantly working for more and better at the same time you have to just basically say i'm going to work no matter what the the results are and things too so i don't know that's just the kind of thought that i was having today so i think that it's helpful in if if you're like most entrepreneurs or business owners are thinking about starting a business there is not a map for where you want to go, probably. Unless you have a McDonald's that you're going to buy or something like a franchise where everything is set out for you. In that case, you're just basically buying, I don't know, an income stream? I'm not even sure. But uh, if you're trying to do something cool, and if you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before, comparing yourself to anybody else is not going to be helpful. And also, thinking that you have to have everything figured out is not helpful either. Because... There's no map for where you want to go. There's no map for where I want to go. I mean, I want to have a, an agency. People have done that before. But I want to have a lifestyle business that... Uh, anyways, just got a text message. But, um, you know, I, I want to do fun stuff with my family. And ultimately, that's why I'm building a business. I'm not building a business so that I can have, you know, a huge organization. I want to have something that supports my life and my family so that I can enjoy both of those things. And I feel so lucky, so blessed to be able to work from home, work with my family, like right outside my door, and uh, do work that I love to do and enjoy to do and is super exciting and interesting to me. Like, it's just awesome. So that's the other thing too, is what I was working on was just being grateful for, you know, the things that are going on that are good in general. So um, having support, uh, exercising and then also going through and being grateful and like actually writing out what you're grateful for is very very helpful so that's kind of it for today um, I'm launching AdWords campaigns we're doing a lot of cool things one thing that I'm going to be doing is I've got a software product that I'm working on and I'm pretty dang excited about it um, I've been working on it selling it quite a bit but I didn't have a funnel that I'm actually driving traffic and putting people into the funnel. So this, with this software product, which is a social enabled Wi-Fi product, um, it's really cool for local businesses. And it lets you to basically turn the people that are coming into your waiting room into like you get to collect their contact data and stuff. So I'm going to be driving people to a, a very specific funnel for that. And I'm going to be measuring and, and monitoring how that goes and I think I'm actually going to build a case study out of it and use that for a, uh, a video here that I think is going to be pretty cool so um, thanks for watching everybody I hope that you enjoyed the video leave me a comment what's your favorite thing like if you are in a weird spot mentally especially if you're a business owner what do you do to make sure that you get into a good zone and stay there I would love to know what you do too so have a great day everybody I'll talk to you later